Okay guys, so this reel actually got released sooner than I expected. Now the release date was supposed to be in April, which it is April, but I thought it was going to be like late April, like probably the last day in April when this reel would come out. But here it is, somewhat in the middle of the month, and it is out. At least the right-handers are. Now of course this is the new 2021 Shimano Scorpion DC. Now I got this reel from Japan Lure Shop as usual and of course with Japan Lure Shop they send a nice free gift. It looks like a Vision 110 Plus One deep diving jerkbait and that's actually a pretty solid color so yeah that's a welcome addition to my jerkbait collection there now if you are wondering how to get this reel or other JDM tackle my last video that I posted was how to buy JDM tackle so I suggest you take a look at that and watch it carefully and it'll show you how to get awesome reels like this alright so let's get right into it now the Scorpion DC was probably the most anticipated reel out of Shimano's new 2021 lineup at least JDM Shimano along with the SLX BFS so here's the box it's got this maroon color and let's open it up alright here's your paperwork all right, let's check this out. There's your oil. Now, I wasn't too impressed with the looks of the new Scorpion DC, at least in the videos. But let's see what it looks like in person. Oh, man, look at that. Take a look at this reel. Okay, so now that I have it in hand and I'm looking at it, I actually like the looks of this reel now. I think Shimano did a perfect job with this Scorpion now that it's in my hand and I am looking at it. Let you guys take a good look at this thing. course made in Malaysia just like the other scorpions and crottos that use this frame but yeah I am very very pleased with the color scheme of this new scorpion DC so I'm gonna check out the specs look at the details of this reel take some notes as usual and I will get back to you okay so I'm done messing around with the reel and before we get into the more important stuff let's talk about the styling again now this is the third generation Scorpion DC and it looks like Shimano has given this reel a color scheme very similar to the first generation Scorpion DC so that means that it's two-tone with the main color being silver and it's got some red accents which seems to be a Scorpion trademark so yeah let's take a look at the silver and once again the silver paint in person looks a lot better than it does in the videos that I've seen as well as the pictures on Shimano's website It is very similar to the Bantam MGL color it's got a lot of sparklies going on in there and I'm sure it'll be a lot brighter once you get it out in the sunlight so the silver portion of the reel is finished in a shiny gloss which I like but the black portions are more of a matte 
satin finish as you can see on the front piece as well as these pieces right here and as well as the thumb bar but then you know you got your red accents on the spool tension and of course you got your scorpion stealth logo there that you can only see if you angle it at a certain way in the light now when Shimano and Daiwa apparently exchanged designers the Daiwa designer probably had an input on this reel because they have given it the red trim pieces surrounding the thumb bar much like the Tatula 100 and you can see it goes all the way down to the bottom and it's asymmetrical and I thought that was uh, I guess a factory defect at first but no that is just how it is designed so this red piece is longer than this one but yeah it feels very well built the knobs have no inside and out movement and the handle tolerance is pretty good and one thing I wish they would have done well actually two things is that I wish they would have given this reel the bright red spool of the original and that would have really really set this reel off and also the star drag and the handle I don't know if you guys can tell but it's that same dark brown root bearish type of color that's on the other Shimano reels and I wish they would have made that just shiny jet black that really would have made this reel look awesome in my opinion but as I said before I am very pleased with the styling and color scheme now that I have it in hand so let's get to the more important stuff so my channel has been around for nearly four years and in that time span I've received literally hundreds of emails from you guys telling me that you purchased a certain reel based off of you know one of my videos or seeing the reel perform in some of my videos and other than the Fishband GH100 the most popular reel that I get an email about saying that they bought one and have been extremely pleased with it is going to be this reel right here the sinister and mighty 2017 Scorpion DC100 and in my opinion this reel is the biggest performance bargain of all time meaning the performance it gives you relative to what it costs so it goes without saying that the new 2021 model has got some enormous shoes to fill now before we go over all the changes let's do a quick size comparison now Shimano says that this frame was 10% smaller than the outgoing Corrado uh, iframe and as you can see the body itself looks to be slightly smaller when looking at it from the top but the gearbox is much bigger at least much bigger looking because the body has slightly shrunk width wise but with the Scorpion DC they have streamlined the rear end of the palm side plate so it doesn't flare out as much so the size comparison from the top they look very very similar but I'll have to give the edge to the new 2021 model but here's the thing now a lot of guys who own both the old Corrado I and the new Corrado K may feel the same way that despite the new reels having a slightly smaller footprint in frame size the old reels actually feel more comfortable to palm and feel smaller in hand at least in my opinion and here's why now if you turn the reels to the side you'll see that the side plate on the old reel is way smaller than on the new reel so when you're palming at least the way I palm I palm like this there's a lot more side plate there coming in contact with my hand making this reel feel bigger than the old reel despite being smaller so a lot of you guys may wonder why your new Crotto K frame reels may not feel quite as comfortable as the older reels that is probably why because the side plate on the new reels just has a lot more real estate than the old reels and that does matter 
So now let's go over a comparison with the American equivalent to the Scorpion DC, and that of course is going to be the Corrado DC. Now you can see the obvious difference here is that despite having the same frame, that the Scorpion is a little bit smaller in the front because the adjustment dial for the Scorpion is not up top like on the Corrado. It's actually down at the bottom. So it looks a lot sleeker in my opinion, less awkward. Doesn't look so uh, bulbous. You can see there it looks kind of awkward and kind of out of place there. That adjustment dial on the Corrado. But uh, yeah, everything else is pretty much the same. Well, the side plate's a little bit different. But um, yeah, Corrado DC versus Scorpion DC size comparison. So this part of the video might be of importance to all you guys that have the current Scorpion DC model. And that's because we're going to go over all the new changes to the new model. Now obviously, of course, the biggest change is going to be the frame and side plates and color scheme, which we've already went over. But the new model, of course, is going to be sporting the micro module gears. Now, of course, it is super, super smooth, and the better knob and handle tolerances definitely help with this, but the old reel was also super, super smooth, and you probably won't feel that much of a difference until you actually get some resistance on the line, whether it be fighting a fish or pulling some kind of a heavy resistance bait. But the old model was super smooth for not having micromodule gears. Now the old model had only two gear ratios available, I believe like a 6.3 and a 7.4 if I'm not mistaken. Now the new model also has a 6 and 7 gear ratio, but it adds an extra high gear ratio which is the 8.5, which is what I have. And that's something that was not available in the old model. And the new model has a significantly beefier handle than the old model. You can see the old model it looks almost like a finesse handle, while the new one has the bigger, beefier Corrado style handle. And that also goes for the knobs as well, as you can see. And also the knob end caps. Now, with the new reel, the extra high gear handle length is going to be 90 millimeters while on the slower gear ratios it is a short 84 millimeters which I believe is what also came on the old model so that was the one thing that I would change about the old model was that it definitely needed a slightly longer handle probably something like 90 millimeters okay so now it's time to get to the important changes and the first one is going to be the spool now with the new reel, they have incorporated an MGL spool, the old style, that's got the sidewall porting there, and a couple of little holes on only one side of the spool. Now the old reel, there was no porting at all, but as you can see, they narrowed the channel where the line would lay, so that means that the old reel was a 100 line capacity while the new one as you can see it's wider and it is a 150 line capacity so I'm not sure how I feel about that because the old reel since it holds less line the spool should be lighter once filled with line but we're gonna get weights and measurements here in a second but yeah the new scorpions got that MGL spool for faster startup and according to Shimano, um, longer casts. But we're gonna test that theory out. And then of course, the next big change is gonna be to the brake system. Now the old Scorpion had the IDC5, and it shared the same system with the much more expensive Metanium DC. Now the new reel also has IDC5, but it's apparently a new version of the IDC5 
that is also the one that's available on the much more expensive Conquest DC. And there are a couple of minor changes we'll go over here in a second. But yeah, the big changes, at least performance wise, are going to be the spool. The new reel is going to have more line capacity, but it's got an MGL spool while the old one has less line capacity. And then of course, they're claiming that the new reel has a new IDC5 brake system. Okay, so the scale is out and we're going to get a weight on the reels and more importantly the spools. And as you can see, I also brought out the Scorpion MGL. Alright, so none of these reels are featherweight by any means but they're not overly heavy, at least in my opinion. Okay, so let's weigh the Scorpion MGL first. Coming in at 7.8 ounces. And this is the XG model. And then the Corrado DC comes in at 7.87 ounces. And the old Scorpion DC is coming in at 7.6 ounces. And the new one comes in at 7.85. So a small weight gain probably attributed to the longer, beefier handle. But now it's time for the more important weight, and that is the weight of the spools. Now to access the spool on the new Scorpion you have to turn this dial all the way to open and then you push this latch and then you pull the side plate off like so. Okay so let's take a closer look at this 150 size spool. As you can see of course it's got the long spool shaft. It's got the MGL porting. Looks like six holes on each sidewall. There's the DC I guess electromagnetic unit and then you have porting on just one side. So I guess the DC unit is taking up this half of the spool so they can't port that. But here it is in comparison with the Scorpion MGL spool and there's also a color difference but it looks like they're pretty similar just that the porting is going to be on the side instead of the middle for the DC model and of course the MGL has the SBS Infinity brakes attached and here's the Corrado DC spool Now they're supposed to have the same line capacity but as you can see the Scorpion's got that little concave in the center so it may hold a little bit more line and then here it is compared to the old Scorpion DC spool as you can see they're about the same depth but once again Shimano narrowed the channel where the line lays on the old model so it holds less line but no porting not even in the center Alright, so let's get a weight on these spools. And we're going to start off with the MGL first. And no surprise, this one's probably going to be the lightest at 14.3 grams. And the Corrado DC spool is coming in at 20.7 grams. Okay, now here's the 2017 Scorpion DC spool. That's coming in at 17.8 grams. I don't know if I've ever weighed this spool on video for you guys before. Might have, but I forgot, but 17.8 grams. Still pretty heavy in my opinion. All right, so here's the new spool. And it feels heavier in hand to me versus the old one. But let's see what the scale says. 17.9 grams. All right, so that's actually quite a surprise. Let me tell you why. Now this reel's been out a few days in Japan and of course, the Japanese YouTubers are making videos on it, but 
one guy weighed the spool and his scale said 18 grams. So it was very close to 18 grams, but my scale says 17.9. So virtually the same weight as the old spool, but once spooled with line, the old spool is going to be lighter due to the line capacity. So we can only hope that the MGL porting is going to help this thing spool up faster and also keep its speed up longer. And perhaps Shimano gave the new model a different brake tune which will give it better performance than the old model. But once again, it's got some huge shoes to fill. Now before we put all the spools back in the reels, just in case anyone out there was wondering, it appears that the Scorpion DC spool will fit into the Corrado DC frame and you can actually close this reel up. Now will it work in the Corrado DC? I don't know. <laughs> that could be a very interesting video to make, but it seems to work. Spins fine, but uh, yeah, just in case anyone out there was wondering, I seriously doubt anyone would pay the money for a Scorpion DC spool just to put it in their Corrado DC, but it should be a worthwhile performance upgrade if you are looking to upgrade your Corrado DC. But just keep in mind, these spools probably not going to come cheap, probably at least 70 to 80 dollars. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm going to show you guys the differences in the DC brake systems between both reels. Now both reels are sporting Shimano's IDC5 Intelligent DC system. So that means you're gonna have three line modes and within those three line modes you're gonna have fine tuning via an external dial. Now if you take a look at the brake units on both reels they look very, very similar. But some of you guys may have already spotted a change, and that is that the order of the line modes has changed in the new model. So in the old model, you had your N for mono, PE for braid, and F for fluorocarbon. And you switch between modes by a very crude manner, I must say. But basically what I like to do is I like to stick my fingernail in between these two raised areas and you can see that indicator arrow and use the raised areas to swap over to whatever line mode you need. Now the new model looks like the braid and mono settings have switched places. So it's braid mono fluoro versus mono braid fluoro. And I'm not sure why Shimano did that. Maybe there's some kind of performance gain to be had, but in my experience with all my DC reels that have a line mode, the braid mode seems to cast the furthest. Now with the new reel, switching between line modes is much cruder than the old reel. There's no extra raised area, so you really just have to use your fingernail and move it like that especially when you're over here in the braid mode and you gotta switch it over yet yeah, it's not quite as easy as the previous model and yeah that's a disappointment I thought they would design something a little bit more refined something closer to the Metanium DC but oh well now once you've picked the line mode that you want to use both reels are gonna have five fine tunable settings accessible via this external dial. So both reels are going to have one, two, three, four, and then a letter. I'm going to show you with the new model. You got your one, two, three, four, and then a letter. Now Shimano likes to try to get fancy and say that each number is designated for a specific lure weight, but to make a long story short, number one is going to have the least amount of braking, 
for your heavy aerodynamic lures for really long casting. Number two is going to be for slightly lighter lures. Number three is going to be for even lighter lures than that. And then number four is going to be for your lightest weight lures. But I seriously doubt this new Scorpion DC is going to be able to bait finesse because the old one was struggling handling a lure that was around one eighth of an ounce. But here's the change and that is going to be that letter. So with the old model you had the letter A there and the A stood for automatic, so automatic mode. Now if you stuck the reel in automatic mode, literally you can fish all day and not have one single overrun and it would handle all sorts of lures of different sizes and weights and shapes perfectly fine and give you some really really long casts in the process. So that was pretty awesome. Me personally I like to just fool around with the numbers and have more control but that's just me. Now with the new reel the A has been replaced with a W and this is win mode. Now this win mode is something new that they've implemented in the IDC5 system starting with the Conquest DC. So allegedly this reel has the same IDC5 brakes as the much more expensive Conquest DC. And of course win mode is pretty self-explanatory, probably just like the win mode with the Corrado and SLX DC. So probably win mode and then maybe even number four mode is going to give you the strongest braking but we're going to test that out on the water. So I'm not sure how I feel about uh, win mode versus automatic mode. Personally, I guess I'll take it because like I said, I never hardly use the automatic mode in my 17 Scorpion DC. I like to mess around with the dial to try to get the longest cast possible. So yeah, basically those are the differences in the braking systems between the old and the new model. Now whether Shimano implemented a less aggressive brake tune in the new model versus the old one, I guess that remains to be seen because once again, they both have the same spool weight but the old model is going to hold less line, therefore have a slightly lighter spool. So we're going to finish this video up by going over Shimano's purpose for this new Scorpion DC. Now I have to admit when I first saw the specs on this reel and saw that Shimano went with the 150 line capacity I thought to myself that's surely going to be a performance downgrade versus the old model but when I researched the information on Shimano's website about this reel it looks like Shimano purposely did that to make this reel more versatile and let me explain what that means. Now in Japan, the Scorpion lineup is equivalent to the Corrado lineup here in America. Basically these are bass reels, but with this new Scorpion DC, Shimano wanted to make it more versatile and they wanted you to be able to use this to target inshore species like uh, rockfish, uh, sea bass, and I guess here in America it would be like redfish or speckled trout. So they gave it bigger line capacity to be able to hold more heavy line for those harder fighting bigger saltwater and inshore fish. But will that decrease the performance of the new Scorpion DC versus the old model? And of course there's only one way to find out and that's to take both of these reels out and cast them side by side and of course we're going to do a measured field cast battle to see which one of these reels really cast better. So be on the lookout for that. All right guys, thanks a lot.